two students with the Catholic School Board here in York Region who have been advocating for the pride flag to fly are speaking out after being caught in the middle of another chaotic board meeting. The grade 12 students were very candid about their battle for inclusion and what it's been like growing up in a Catholic school. It was a little scary um, saying something that I knew so many people in the room would oppose. We don't need this to teach our children how to be kind, to teach these perversities in their classrooms. 18-year-old Isio and 17-year-old Patrick tell me they were very emotional after the board meeting on Tuesday, saying they and other supporters of the pride flag were absolutely shaken by the opposition and backlash coming from the gallery. I was disappointed that so many people were being so cruel, especially that my peers were crying and they brought people I know and people I care about to tears. Do you feel like the school board provided you the support that you needed in that moment? In that moment, no. I feel like a lot more could have been done in that situation. City News requested interviews with the board chair and the director of education. Both were unavailable. Instead, we had a conversation with the school board spokesperson. We're most upset that students uh, felt distress as a result of what happened in the uh, board meeting itself. Three months of this, though, I mean, couldn't the meeting have been stopped and the gallery cleared of people who were disrupting before these students got up to speak? Could the school board have done better in that moment? The chair called for the ejection of people who were in the gallery. We took a pause in the uh, the meeting. Uh, it wasn't officially called to recess, but we took a pause for those people to be removed. We are going to be putting into place new measures with our next board meeting in an attempt to try to have order there. We all call on the YCDSB to take meaningful action. Isio and Patrick have spent their high school years fighting for inclusion. We're not talked about in curriculum, in classes. Most classes will not even acknowledge the fact that queer people exist. And it, it was upsetting not getting to see myself in the place where I go every single day to learn. Hate has no home in YCDSB schools. And with graduation on the horizon, they now have a petition with more than 1,100 signatures in support of the pride flag flying in June and say they're hopeful this will be the year. Leaving high school, what do you want your legacy to be? safety, leaving behind what we didn't get to have. And making sure that that happens is, is something that I think we have to do and uh, I definitely want to leave behind for, for students in the years to come. They say they do plan on being at the next board meeting in May. A decision on the pride flag will be made in the coming weeks. In Aurora, Shauna Hunt City News.